In this video, we're gonna discuss dieting over the weekend, family dinners, barbecues, and how to get over that. But before you go any further, write in the comments what your biggest challenge is when it comes to dieting. What's up guys, it's Fatty Mansa here from Real Results Fitness. And in this video, we are gonna discuss weekends and how they could either make or break your week. This question or this topic actually arises from a Facebook group that I have with some clients and I asked them, what is your biggest obstacle when it comes to uh, weight loss or fat loss? And uh, someone brought something up that some people are kind of scared to admit or just bring up, uh, but she brought it up early and I'm really glad she did. And what she said is it's the weekends and it's uh, family, you know, get togethers, family dinners, barbecues, um, just getting in the time in order to get all that and it's gonna be hard for her to take her food with her. I'm really glad she brought that up. The way we're gonna combat a challenge or obstacle that comes up like this, uh, like say we have a big barbecue that we know it's coming up. Um, it's actually I believe that barbecues are probably the easiest to stick or adhere to your uh, nutrition or diet plan. Um, so for starters before we get into some details, um, you can do one of two things. If you're doing the free meal, you can use the barbecue as your free meal. Again, with free meals, you don't go overboard. Uh, it's just something, you know, give yourself a time frame, about an hour to eat what you want without tracking, um, without going crazy and, and uh, thinking how many calories this has. Also, don't go crazy in the other aspect, as in I have one hour to eat and it's not like your hour of power. Okay, it's not like you eat just as much as you can in that hour. Um, just enjoy a meal that you normally wouldn't be able to or your macros or calories wouldn't allow you to uh, within that hour and that's it. It's not, um, I'm gonna have a few beers, I'm gonna go get some frozen yogurt on the way home and then uh, order some pizzas when I get home. So it's not like a full, full on day thing. It's a free meal, not a free day. Okay, so that's one. If you're gonna go with the refeed method, then use that and save that for your weekend if you know there's a family dinner coming up or a barbecue and uh, enjoy your excess of carbs on that day. Um, we can make a separate video on that if you guys would like. Regarding barbecues, let's just say we don't use a free meal or we've already used a free meal earlier in the week and it's not a refeed day. Um, how can we do this? So guys, it's, it's very simple, especially with barbecues. Um, there's so many options at barbecues that you can um, have if you are in a diet or fat loss phase that are smarter decisions than what we can make. You know, for example, uh, at most barbecues they have some type of meat, right? So grilled chicken or grilled steak, um, that's not going to be bad for you. You know, that's, and for most of us, it's probably already in our diet. So it might actually look like one of our meals. Uh, if they don't have rice, you can substitute your carb source for mashed potatoes. Uh, the things you do have to be careful with at barbecues is things such as potato salads, coleslaws, uh, anything that's gonna have, uh, egg salad, anything like that can have a bunch of mayo and can add a quick four to 500 calories to your day without you even knowing. Uh, so those are things that you might wanna avoid or just limit. If you are gonna track it on my fitness pal, you know, I don't expect you to take a scale, but if you've been using it, um, you know, for a few weeks now, you should be able to eyeball what, you know, maybe three ounces of chicken looks like, or four ounces of steak, half a cup of rice, etc. You know, if there's not steak again, go with mashed potatoes or go with the corn for your, for your carb source. Uh, your fats, you can, you'll probably just get from the excess fats that are from the uh, chicken or steak. So really guys, it comes down to a decision and it's your decision at the end of the day. You either want to lose weight, lose that excess weight or lose those excess pounds, or you don't. Uh, we all have a decision. Don't have six beers and just say, you know, it's like a family get together. I couldn't say no. It's like, you could have said no. It's, it's completely up to you at the end of the day. So again, guys, it's just smarter decisions. Maybe you did want that uh, egg salad or potato salad, um, but just make a little sacrifice for the bigger picture. 
because otherwise it can become a slippery slope if we are doing great throughout the week and then on the weekends we just relapse. You're just going in circles. With family dinners, the same rules apply. So just be, make smarter decisions. You know, don't sit down and, and uh, have a Thanksgiving dinner every time you have a family dinner. If we could all do that, then we wouldn't be in this boat right now and everybody would be walking around with the ideal physique. You know, I always say like, if there was no weekends, <laughs> we'd probably all have the ideal physique. When it's all said and done, we have to make better choices. And you guys can reach out to me via email or, uh, or like Messenger online or, or for those of you that are watching this that are in our group, uh, just reach out to us in our Facebook group just like you did. And then we can discuss it together. So another big tip you can do uh, while you're at these family dinners or barbecues is stick to uh, like the vegetable trays or platters prior to the meal and fill yourself up on that. Uh, so when you know the, the big meal comes, you feel more full and you don't have to uh, gorge on, uh, on your actual plate. Um, so make sure to fill up on veggies, on greens in particular. That will help keep you satiated and full for when the, the meal comes. Drink a lot of water. If you drink a lot of water, even prior to your meal, you will feel full. And then also when you are eating your plate, try to eat your protein source first. Protein breaks down a little bit slower uh, and that digests slower. So by the time you get to your carb source, you will feel a little bit more full. So eat your protein source on your plate first. The other issue was working out on the weekend, like working out uh, on this program, I have them working out Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, if you can't make Friday, you know, then, or if you know your weekend's gonna be busy, then do Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, or uh, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Uh, this particular group, they're on a full body split. So ideally you would like 48 hours in between. Now, that's not to say that if I don't get 48 hours, I just don't do the workout. Um, one day you can go heavier, one day you can go lighter. Or if you're in the beginning stages, you can still go heavier without, you know, without fatiguing too fast. Uh, so any workout is better than no workout. Don't just think, oh, because it hasn't been 48 hours or I can't work out Sunday because I'm gonna work out Monday that you know, everything's thrown out the window. There's always an opportunity and there's always a chance to make the changes that you guys wanna make. You know, if I were to tell you that you only have to work out three days a week and uh, do four or five days of cardio a week while watching what you eat and you're gonna have the ideal body that you want, would you do it? You know, it's, it comes down to that guys, like you can't continue making excuses for yourself when we know there are better options out there. Make smarter decisions, eat your veggies, eat your protein source first, and then make sure you want it. Cause you gotta make sure you want it and you're not doing it for someone else. If you are doing it for someone else, you might have some temporary uh, results, but it's not gonna be long lasting. So guys, make sure you want it and reassess what you wanna do.